Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Shannon with Shannon's Crafty DIYs. Um, today I have a haul, a very, very small haul. I have a couple things from Dollarama and a couple things from the Dollar Tree. Um, this week I just haven't really gone out too much to do shopping. It's mainly just groceries that I've done, so I feel like it's not as exciting. But I did find some wish list items that at both Dollarama and the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree, I found these items here in Canada. Thought I was only gonna be able to find them in the US, but I did find them in Canada. So I am super excited to share those with you. You guys know, um, you saw just Saturday, um, I did a little shop with me video uh, at the Dollar Tree and the Dollarama. So these are just a few of the things that, that I picked up from those stores. So you guys know I would love it if you guys could hit that subscribe button and just give me a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And yes, let's begin with the haul. I'll just start with the Dollarama. Repeat buy, always buy these six pack um, for $3. Every other place I go to, grocery stores, whatnot, they're always like two for seven. So it's $3.50. So Dollarama is always the cheapest for these. I just love to have these on hand. They are the perfect size. I actually have one on the go from a previous pack. This is never opened, but, and I use my little uh, flamingo straws that I picked up from the Dollarama. I've had these for a year now, at least, the straws. But yes, I like to do that. Who else does that with their cans of cola? So I put that, I open the tab and I put it through the little tab. That way the straw doesn't keep, um, bobbing up and down as well. So anyway, just a little trick as well, but yes, repeat by $3, best deal so far. This guys, I'm gonna do a product review as well. So this I actually bought, I bought the one before, you guys had given me some great advice about it as well. It is the Finish Dishwasher Cleaner. I bought the lemon one, you guys definitely know that. My dishwasher is Frigidaire and I was, um, finding that it was just really getting a smell. Never noticed it with our old um, dishwasher at our old house. It was a KitchenAid and so I never had to clean it. I never even knew there was a filter at the bottom that you had to take out and clean. So we did all that and you know, ran the dishwasher, it's still a smell. So I used the lemon dishwasher cleaner and you're supposed to use this once a month. The dishwasher cleaner worked like a charm. However, it was a lemon scent and it really definitely lingers in the dishwasher. And I've washed a couple of like plastic Tupperware containers and it really picks up the smell of the lemon. So I'm hoping that the, this one is just like the fresh, fresh scent. Um, I'm hoping that this one is gonna smell a little bit better. <laughs> but yeah, I just feel like the, um, the lemon was just a little too potent. But anyway, this was $5 at the Dollarama. Let me know, is that a good deal? I haven't really shopped around anywhere else for these, but when I saw them at the Dollarama, I had to buy it. So I saw this one, bought this one. And this guy is $5. Um, it must be their brand, but I've been wanting to get one of these for a little while. It is the um, side window shade. Um, but it's one of those ones that, you know, you can retract on your back windows. These are mainly like for kids or anybody who have like sensitivity with the sun and whatnot. But you guys know, I love doing a lot of road trips. I love doing a lot of cross border shopping. So a lot of the times my back is in the sun in the window and I find I always get like a sun, a little bit of a burn there. Even if the windows are closed, I still feel like it's hot on my skin. Um, Anyway, I just figured that would be better just to block a little bit of the sun whenever it's like beaming down on me on my shoulders. So yeah, I want to give that a try. I have been wanting to get one for a while and for $5, yeah, you could probably get them on Amazon for a little bit more, but yeah, anyway, I'm leaning back because they're quite long. So um, yeah, they are sealed too with some tape, but that's good. I like that it's packaged well. Anyway, I won't open it because I don't have scissors right now, but oh, you know what? Let's just open it. I'm just ripping the package. Here we go. <laughs> I think it's just one of those ones that roll as you go. Oh my gosh, guys. Ooh. Oh, and it comes with like little suction cups as well. Okay, yeah, so this is what goes over the window, I'm guessing, the top of the window, and then that just gets pulled down. And then how do you 
lift it up. Pretty sure, oh, there we go. There's a little button, oh, <laughs> a little button on the side to bring it back. Actually, that feels pretty good. I'm hoping, yeah. I mean, let's see, this, I'm at the window right now, so let's see. It does block the sun a little bit, so anyway, I just wanted something. Yeah, there you go. You can tell it's giving me a little bit of a shadow as well, so yeah. Let's hope that helps. You know, not it's a little a small little story, but like my stepdad, um, he ended up getting a little cancerous skin cancer on his chest, and it's all fine. He's good now. Everything is fabulous. I mean, at least with skin cancer, if you can catch it on quick, most of the times you can. If it's just a little spot, you can most of the time get rid of it. Anyway, he was like, "Oh, you know, like it's." And I guess the doctor had told him it's because you know it probably been in the sun and whatnot. And he mentioned, he's like, I'm not a sunbather. Like my stepdad is like white hair, fair skin, not, he is like a lobster when he goes out in the sun. So I know he's not in the sun a lot, but the doctor says, well, you are in the sun. You're in the sun all the time when you're driving. So I don't know about you guys, but like, I noticed I have a couple more freckles on this side. I have, you know, he had a spot right on his left side, always in the sun. So anyway, who knows if that theory is right or wrong, but I just thought, you know what, let's just better be safe than sorry. Keep out of the sun as much as you can, especially because, like I said, I do a lot of um, long distance road trips as well. So yeah, so just be careful with your skin, guys. You know, I am fair skin as well, so I get have lots of freckles, so I always have to be a little bit careful. You know, back in the day in your teens and 20s, who cares about the sun? You just wanted to bake so much till you were burnt and then it turned into a tan. Yeah, that is not me anymore. I am super cautious of the sun and I do not want to get burnt ever. <laughs> All right, so that is it from the Dollarama. Three things from the Dollar Tree. Uh, so I have four things, but two of them are the exact same, but different pattern. I'm going to show you this, Betty Crocker. I haven't had um, a super moist, cake in forever and especially the carrot cake. I haven't had a carrot cake in so long. So they are up to $2 now here in Canada, but I bought, you know, you know, the Dollar Tree carries the cinnamon toast crunch cakes and the cookie mixes as well. So I do have, I made the cake delicious and I have half a tub left of the Duncan Hines um, cream cheese icing. So that would be perfect on this carrot cake. So I'm going to make that and put my cream cheese icing right over top. Oh. <laughs> Again, I've just been craving it and I'm super excited that I was able to pick one up. $2 is not that bad actually. You might be able to get, I don't know if you can get carrot, but I know with the Dollarama, they were $1.75, but every Dollarama is different as well. So just be careful. You know, I'm pretty sure it's a lot cheaper than going to the grocery store anyway. So $1.75 to $2 is not a huge difference. So I got it at the Dollar Tree. Guys, new this year from the Dollar Tree. Sorry guys, I'm getting a little bit cramped on my ankle here. New to the Dollar Tree this year and I found this in Canada. You guys know I just recently went cross-border shopping and couldn't find it there. I found them in Canada. Look at this guys, by the Spa April, oh my gosh, travel size a bottle. I bought the pink one. They have the turquoise one as well. But look at that. It's like, it says it's a, like a four in one. So you got four bottles, the top and the bottom. So this one, you know what? I There was one that was open in the store, but this is great. Um, the packaging is well done. It's just, it's got tape on it too. Let me just see if I can open it. Okay, I got that one off. Where is the other tape? I'm gonna see. Oh, well, okay, perfect. That came off really well. There we go, I'll take the tape. This is so awesome. So that slides out. Um, there's more tape on the bottom. So essentially like what you do, oh, and I like that because it's got the four lids on each one. That is really cool. Easy storage, you pop that right on. Oh, this is so cool. Um, yeah, there's a lot of tape on this one, <laughs> two. Okay, so. Yeah, once I get um, the scissors, it'll come right off. But yeah, yeah, you guys get the idea. The boat, the top and the bottom come right off. Again, because there is, you can see it right there, there is tape that I'm just gonna have to take off. So yeah, that is so cool. <laughs> I love it. Oh, the things 
that amaze or amuse me. <laughs> I love that. Love, love, love. And last but not least, oh my gosh, summer decor, summer um, uh, disposable stuff like napkins, cups, all that fun stuff is all coming out right now. All or all the disposables, I should say. Um, these two were the ones that stood out to me the most. There are different patterns as well. There's maybe one other one. And then there's other napkins that are out right now, but that they have been out since last year as well. But check out these patterns. You get 25 napkins per pack. What on earth Dollar Tree? Like how beautiful is that print? Oh, like this reminds me of like, um, like a tablecloth or something, but I just love the print. That's great for Mother's Day coming up. Put that in a little gift basket. Oh my gosh. You can tell it is the outdoor line with the toucan on it, um, or no, the parrot, parrot, yeah, <laughs> toucan, parrot, <laughs> and then look at this one. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love those. I love napkins. I have to stop buying napkins, but I just thought these were great for entertaining, using them for yourself. Um, yeah, obviously you can Mod Podge these to DIYs as well, but yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. So like I said, that was a small haul. Um, but yeah, this week I kind of just really bought a lot of groceries and just things for the house. So, um, I hope it was exciting enough for you. Um, I know I usually have like some longer videos as well, but you do know I just did a cross border shop as well. So I spent some money there too. So I'm going to just kind of coast a little bit for the next a little bit. Um, and yeah, I would, I'm going to post, I think for this coming Saturday. So you're seeing this Wednesday, this Saturday, I'll post the, um, giveaway contest. I'll put the prizes in there as well. And then again, we're saying that is for May 8th. So yes, stay tuned for that. And again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and just give me a big thumbs up. I would love it. And I would love to meet new friends and yes. All right, guys, that's it. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.